PVA bait bags are widely used in Europe to catch carp. Polyvinyl alcohol, or PVA for short, is a water-soluble material that has a wide range of uses. A prime example of PVA would be the clear casing of a Tide Pod. Many fishermen in Europe and a growing number in America are utilizing PVA bag systems to fish for carp. PVA bag systems have a lead weight and a hair rig hook surrounded by carp bait. When the bag hits the water, it has about a few seconds before it dissolves and disperses the bait and the hook. I've put a link in the description for a video of how to make these carp PVA bait bags with links for materials. You should check it out after watching this video. I've had many people tell me that these PVA bag systems won't work on fish that aren't used to seeing them. The rest of this video will testify that PVA bag systems do work for carp and catfish in America. European PVA bait bag system with a My Little Pony pole. Let's do this. There she sits. Low and slow, that is the name of the game when you go carp fishing. I often compare carp to elderly people. One, because they have no teeth up front, and two, they're kind of slow moving. They just kind of hang out there and move around at their leisure. So with carp, it is a waiting game. You literally, you just need to cast out, trust the method, trust what you're using, and be patient. Kick back, scroll some Facebook, contemplate on life. They're eventually going to get around to biting that food, but it might be 15, 20, three hours later. You never know. Trust the method, be patient. Those elderly people, they're going to get to the food eventually. It might be a couple hours. Be patient. It's going to happen. And when it happens, be ready because carp of all sizes, they are some of the best fighters you're going to see. They fight so hard. They are an amazing fish to catch. So let's kick back, see what happens. I don't know why it happens. For some people, it's when they start eating food. For me, it's when I get the drone out and fly it around that the fish start biting. I was so concentrated on flying the drone that I had somehow forgotten to push the button on the GoPro and get it rolling. This is our species number nine, Swamp Donkey, AKA Common Carp. Boom, Carp, My Little Pony. This is for all the people that believe you can't catch, you know, American fish on European tackle. This was caught on a PVA bag system and it took probably about an hour, but you know, so many people call these fish trash fish, but they, you know, there's honestly a beauty in them. There's a beauty in the gold and the bronze and the orange on the tips of the fins. So common carp, this fish is one of the most widely distributed fish throughout the world. You can literally go anywhere, most anywhere in the world and find these things, but they are everywhere, they put up a good fight, and they are fun to catch. But hey, done here on the uh, Walmart Barbie Princess fishing pole. So, <laughs> it just goes to show you can catch fish on most anything. So let's get this guy back. Species number nine, knocked out of the book, Swamp Donkey. He's such an awesome species. Okay, we'll get her back. Out of here. Barbie pull for the win, Barbie pull for the kill. Man, my little pony is not messing around today. Holy cow. Come on, baby, get in. Oh, get out of the weeds. <laughs> oh, baby. Flying car, flying car, flying car. Barbie pull.
Definitely not the biggest common carp, but definitely a beautiful fish, you know. He's almost got like a silver-like hue to him. You know, carp are fun. They are strong, they are fighters. Definitely on the prettier side. Let's get him back. Out of here. Some of you are probably wondering, like Travis, what's up with the $10 Walmart My Little Pony Barbie Princess fishing pole? You know, I just think it's important to remind people that you don't need a whole lot of money to go out and catch fish and have fun with your family. I mean, 10 bucks, a little bit of tackle, and you're out here smacking some fish. So, yeah, I fish with this as a joke, but at the same time, not so much. I mean, this rod right here just proves to everybody that you don't need a whole lot of money to come out and catch fish and have fun. So, hey, long live the Walmart Barbie pole princess fishers. Today we're using these bite alarms and these bite alarms are awesome tools to have if you're cat fishing or carp fishing or any type of bank fishing where you're literally sitting waiting for a fish to pick your bait and run with it. So what it is is it has four different buttons. It has a power button to turn it on. It has a sensitivity setting right here for how fast you want the, the alarm to go off as the line's spooling out. It has a volume setting right here. You can control the volume up or down. I always run it on the highest setting. And then you have a tone. You can change the tone up or down. When fishing with PVA bags, there is a loop in the end of the braided nylon. There is also a corresponding loop in the end of the monofilament fishing line. When used correctly, both these loops allow you to exchange the spent bag system for a new bag. The PVA bag systems are highly effective for carp by themselves, but when you couple them with some added scent, they become carp magnets. Is that a good cast? Reagan, come on. Reagan, come here, come here, help me. You ready? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna set the hook on this, you ready? Here we go. Huh? Oh, he's on there, Ray. Okay, yeah. come over here, help me, come here. Come here, help me, help me. Can you reel? Keep reeling, reel, 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 reel. Uh -huh. It's really hard, huh? He's a big boy. Real, 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 real. Oh, he's a big boy. He's not messing around. He's big. Real, hurry, real hard. Keep going, keep going. You can do it, you can do it. Here, I'll hold the pole, you real, real. Oh, see a big boy? Ray, Ray, come this way. Come this way, hurry. But it's too, too hard. You can do it. Come I here. Can't. Come here. Real, 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 real. Ah. You're, you're doing it, you're doing it. Ah. There he is, there he is. Oh, he's a big boy. Keep reeling. That's a catfish, Ray. Whoa, look at the size of that catfish. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the pole, hold the pole, hold this. Don't let him go, okay? You got it? That's a big boy, actually. Come here. Okay, bring the pole up, Ray. Oh, wow, look at the size of that catfish. You did it. Look at that thing. Whoa! Look at that channel catfish. That is the biggest catfish we've caught this year, huh? We wrapped him all up. Should we unwrap him real quick? Okay. Look at that thing, Ray. You caught him. Reagan, this catfish, that's a channel catfish and he's almost, he's almost as big as you are. Yeah. Look at that thing. Look at that. So we're out here trying to catch some common carp. And Ray can just put the spank on this big channel catfish. These boilies, you know, we've had a lot of people say you can't use European tackle to catch American fish, to catch American carp. And here we are smacking channel catfish and we're smacking carp with it. I mean, that is hands down the biggest channel catfish we've caught all year, huh, Ray? Uh -huh. 
Huh? She talking to you? <laughs> hey, look at that thing. That is a big old channel catfish, yeah, huh? It's almost huge like this, and this is gonna be a big monster. He's a monster fish. Again, look at that thing. He's as tall as you are. Uh huh. Look at that. Come stand next to him. He, he's saying I'm gonna grab him like this so I can get a good. Look at him, Ray. <laughs> he's as big as you are. Wowzers. On the, on the bottom, there's right on him. Yeah, he's pretty. Hey, <laughs> that line was in the water no more than five minutes before we had this fish come and hit again. We've got two catfish today and a nice carp. And that's hands down the most dandy, hands down the most pretty catfish we've caught this year, huh, Reagan? But, all right, we'll get this big guy back in. Big old channel catfish, here we go. He's talking to me. He sure is. Reagan, you caught that thing. There he goes, he's out of here. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reagan, I'm getting one. Can I roll it in for you? Come here. I'll roll it in for you. You ready? Yep. He's going wild. You need to come help me? There he is. You see that big boy carp? Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Can you reel it in? Here you go, you reel, you reel. Put the puppy down. Here, reel. Reel him in, hurry. Reel, 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 reel. Whoa, look at that thing. Whoa. Is that a big boy carp? I can't. Can I help me? Yeah, I'll help you. I'm gonna net him, okay? Hold it right, bring it in, bring it in. Lift him up, lift him up. I got him, I got him, Ray, I got him. Got Look at that swamp donkey. I got him. Hey, did you catch that thing? Uh-huh. Such a cool fish. Look at that fish, Ray. Do you see his mouth? Look at that thing. <laughs> you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> no. You don't want to give him a kiss? He's yucky. Okay. Should we get a picture with him? <laughs> Anyways, hey. To my subscribers, I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It makes me so happy seeing that number of subscribers go up. To those of you who are considering subscribing, again, thank you. I appreciate the consideration. And if you vowed to never subscribe to the channel, hey, no worries. I'm just glad you're here hanging out watching fish videos with us. But anyways, guys, we will catch you on the next one.